Thanks for coming. And uh, I want to start off like I normally do with uh, thanking our crowd. A noon game against a Mac opponent, and still every seat was filled. And I keep hearing about how student bodies across the country aren't showing up at games. Ours certainly is, and I want to thank them and never take them for granted because one day you look up there and they won't be there for you. So I think a big reason why we jumped out fast was uh, of, the, of the environment created by our students and our fans. So I just want to make sure we show our appreciation. Uh, I thought our guys played well. You know, obviously uh, a little talent advantage, but we wanted, we had to have a game like this. You know, normally that's a first game, especially when you have a young quarterback and, and uh, young offensive line. And, but uh, I'm glad we played we did, like we did. Uh, I thought we would after the week of practice. We've all been in those games where it's, you're just sloppy for the first 30 minutes, and it wasn't that case. So uh, time to move on, uh, bye week, and then uh, get ready. I watched Cincinnati last night, and they're a very talented team. So we, uh, we're going to put everything we can to get, win that game here in two weeks. Front row, Bill. Other than getting a win, what did you really want to see today, and what did you really learn about your team today? A fast start and see guys play. There's a lot of guys. We want to get a lot of reps. And, uh, you know, with the young receivers from the Corey Smith to the Michael Thomas continues to improve. Um, you know, we wanted to get Nick Vanette the ball in his hand a little bit. Uh, we did not play Jeff Hireman. He was hurt. Um, probably could have played him, but we made the decision to sit him. It has a stress reaction on his foot, same foot where he had surgery. So he'll be back ready to go in two weeks. So I think we made the right decision. We're going to sit him this week as well. Uh, and then Monday of a Cincinnati week, he'll be full speed. So I wanted to see a quick start. I wanted to see some young players play, and uh, even the players that have, are considered starters here. There are just so many guys out there, that from the Billy Prices to the uh, uh, Daryl Baldwins, just wanted to give them a lot of reps, and uh, we did that today. Standing left, Austin. Urban, can you provide any insight on what, what has happened with Noah Spence, and do you have hmm. and what would be the impact moving forward if? You can't yeah, that was uh, that was a sucker punch, boy. When I got that phone call, uh, you know, I'd, it happened late in the week. Uh, obviously, we're getting ready to play a game, and uh, we'll know more. I, I don't know much other than he was not. He was declared he couldn't play for this weekend. And what's the future hold for him? I, I don't know. Right, Tim. Yeah, Urban. As you watched your defense play today, what stood what stood out to them? to you as far as like effort, et cetera? Yeah, I think effort was good. I think we denied throws. You know, that's where I, uh, the challenge I have for, and you're really going to be challenged in two weeks with that uh, Cincinnati group of receivers and their quarterback. But I think everybody's heard me say, I just want to challenge throws. And um, I thought you saw that today. Once again, that not taking anything away from Kent, our opponent, but we're, you know, obviously overmatch him a little bit. And I wanted to see what I saw. And that seemed like they were, you know, they had a hard time moving the ball on us, which that should happen. Far left, Ari. Urban, in the first, at the end of the first quarter, you had eight different receivers catching a pass, running backs all over the place. Um, I know you th that was part of your plan to get as many people touches, but is that kind of the plan to win that you guys need to follow moving forward to get, you know, spread this ball around to those guys? And, I think and so. You know, you have, the, you have mixed emotions about having that one guy that's going to be a 1,000-yard rusher. You know, in the past, um, we haven't. I think Carlos, people told it was our first 1,000-yard rusher. That doesn't mean we've... We've always been kind of a top 10 in America rushing, but we've usually spread it around a little bit. Um, so I got the mixed emotions. I, you know, Zeke's our starting tailback, but he only had uh, seven carries. Curtis Salmon, we started feeding it to him because I think he's got a really good future here. You got 100 yards. Um, and we have a group of six receivers who are kind of in a rotation right now. So uh, receivers, you want to have rotation. You, you, you're a receiver, the way we ask them to play, really shouldn't play more than 35, 40 plays a game. Uh, tailback, you know, I think uh, we've settled in on two that are going to be kind of our workhorses for us. And we're still kind of trying to figure out who we are offensively. You know, that's the identity was clear two years ago, and it was Braxton Miller right, Braxton Miller left, because that was kind of our best player. Last year, we uh, developed this big tailback and a uh, really good offense line. So that identity was started. At, I still, at this point, um, we have, I think we have a lot of speed. And you can tell us, we're trying to get guys in open space to see what they can do. Because you got Jalen Marshall, who's a very talented guy, Dontre Wilson. I mean, I could go down the list, but we're still trying to uh, get our hands on exactly who's going to touch that ball. Second row right, Dom. Urban, can you talk uh, about JT's day uh, set, tied to record, rather, set by Kenny last year? 
with six touchdown passes. Just what you saw that you liked today? Yeah, on purpose. Uh, and that was I, uh, early in the first half. I wanted to throw a lot. I wanted to uh, force him to make plays and, and uh, receivers. And it's not just him. It's the whole combination of quarterback receivers. And uh, I thought he played good. You know, I thought he there's a couple misses too now that we could have had. And uh, but a young quarterback needs to do that. And we actually did some empty, you know, I think he'll be a good empty quarterback, five receiver set. So we're still, once again, figuring out exactly how we're going to be moving the ball as an offense once we start getting to the Big Ten season. Front row left, Bob. Urban, is a, is a game like this, a lot of times there's questions about the value of these games. When you have a young quarterback like that, oh. does that make put more value on a game like this just for getting him the reps i hope these games don't you know some people say oh you shouldn't play him and i i was at bowling green and and uh i think you should play him you know i think we played very well today that doesn't mean kent on a great day might um uh, you've you've seen it before ralston there's a shocker so uh i like it as a first game normally especially you know you can't forecast when you make these scheduling that you're going to have a new quarterback on a young offensive line but this is what the doctor ordered when you do have young people that you have to get ready to play. Front row middle. Todd? Irvin, you're going into the bye week with some time to figure some more things out. You played an unconventional team in, in Navy, a decent team in Vatek, and an overmatched team today. Where are you guys at? Are you happy where you're, with where you're at going into this bye week? I, I'm gonna want, that's a great question. And I'm gonna, we're going to practice hard this week. You know, A lot of what you do on a bye week is depending on what kind of team you have. Um, but our guys need repetitions. Football is a game of, you know, it's organized chaos out there, and you, the more often you can get players in those situations. Uh, like on a Tuesday practice last Tuesday, I went 55 play, uh, ones on ones, twos on twos, and I've never really done that before. And I didn't script it that way. I just, I was watching them practice, and I'm looking at these young players out there who need to get off, you know, get the coaches off the field and let them play. So I'm trying to get our players as many reps as possible by the time we get to the Big Ten season. And this was a, a, a great opportunity for that. So I, where are we? Do I like where we're at? I, I think so. We're 2-1. Um, you still have a sick feeling in your stomach about last week. But we're moving forward. And I see a lot of young guys that are uh, going to have great futures at Ohio State. Far left standing. Doug? Urban, how would you describe how your team did handle this week, what their mood was, and how good do you want them to feel after a day like today? I want to feel good and uh, go into the bye week and enjoy their families and show up uh, ready to go this week. So I thought they handled it very well. Um, uh, one indication is how they came out. Um, but the thing I keep going back to, Doug, not to keep changing where we're headed, but uh, you know, I, I've seen places where all of a sudden that stadium's half full. There's disinterest involved. That stadium was packed. And our, our players fed off of that. We had the skull session. You see all those people there. And that does wake you up and get you going. Because a noon game against a Mac school, there's a tendency to have zero enthusiasm and energy in a stadium. And, and that wasn't the case. So uh, they responded well to the week and certainly to the day. Last question, far right, Clay. Yeah, Coach, playing that many players, did you see something from someone? Did you remark to one of your guys, I didn't know he could do that, playing almost everybody in the rotation? Oh, I was giving Dontre, Jalen, and uh, Curtis Samuel a hard time. They got caught today, each one of them. So they'll catch one guy got caught by a punter, I think. And so we'll give, we'll give those guys a hard time. But uh, I think those, I think I, I'm really excited about our young skill. And I was hoping to try to get Buckeye Nation and the, the stadium to see some of those guys out in open space. And Curtis Samuel and... Uh, Don Tran Jalen are just off the top of my head, guys. I'm excited about to get out in open space. So 